Well, more than two months now since Hurricane Harvey made landfall in the coastal bend, there's still concern over whether it is safe to use water from private wells affected by the storm. Kicking off our live coverage this morning in Sentinel Sunrise reporter Roland Rodriguez, who has information on a few groups teaming up to help those private well owners. Good morning, guys, and good morning, South Texas. With the recent floods, many private well owners are still concerned that maybe their wells have been contaminated, and the Texas A&M AgriLife Extension Center want to help with free testing. Now, joining us early this morning is Mr. Bobby McCool. He's one of the extension agents. How are you doing this morning, sir? Good morning. Doing, doing well. This is something big. Even though the floods happened a few months ago, why are so many citizens or residents concerned about their private wells? Well, in, in uh, rural parts of San Patricio County and rural America, anywhere, uh, their water wells are a necessary uh, uh, part of their, their uh, living. This is something that's uh, a great offer because free testing, this is something that's going to help them not only reassure that they're okay or better yet, find out if their water is contaminated because that could cause a whole other types of problems. Yes, uh, contaminated well is not good. Uh, where the flood can uh, uh, seep in or encroach into your well and contaminate it, uh, one or a family would would want to know if if there's contaminant in their water. So how how what do we do to test this water? Uh, basically, we ask the the residents that if uh, they have a well that they feel like has been under uh, flood waters or compromised in any way. To uh, come to the extension office, get a, a test kit and some forms, and uh, uh, just uh, uh, go by what's on the, the sheet there and uh, get a sample and bring it back to us by 11 o'clock on uh, November 7th. And the, the sample needs to be taken that morning as well. Uh, uh, real quick, if for some reason or another they cannot come in and pick up that sample, what can they do? Uh, they can actually take a sample at, at their convenience, and uh, there's other testing places that they can have it done. It just may cost them a little to, to have that uh, test done, but we're offering it free of charge. But of course, the number one, the w number one factor is pure safety. Of course, you want more information on the free testing. All you have to do is visit our website at KRISTV.com. Reporting live from Sitton, Roland Rodriguez, Chris, Six News.